often as humans. You're more interested in the results of the vibration that you emanate than you are of the actual moment of emanation of the vibration. And what we mean by that is you're constantly offering a vibration which law of attraction is responding to. So you have a constant point of attraction. But most are not aware of their actual moment in time attracting. They are only aware of the results of that attraction. And so it's a sort of jerky, awkward awareness of life for many humans. It's like you're attracting, 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 turning thoughts to things, turning thoughts to things, turning thoughts to things, turning vibrations to thoughts and ideas, pondering ideas, ideas in and of themselves, having attraction power, the widening and widening of what you're attracting, becoming more and more, that's what momentum is. And then there is a manifestation. But most are not aware of this process that is happening before the manifestation occurs. And most are not aware of what influence they're under while they are thinking those thoughts. In other words, you could be tuned into who you really are so that your thoughts are causing an emotional range of satisfaction to exhilaration. Or you could be under the influence of something other than your inner being so that your range of emotions is something from utter fear and discord to frustration. You could be feeling good or not feeling good. And those emotions indicate what influence you're under. But most humans aren't aware of the influence that they are under while they are in the process of turning thoughts to things until the things get there. And then when the things get there, often they want to give someone else the credit for them because it never feels good to own up to attracting things you don't want. Esther had a remarkable experience in the airport in Barcelona a few days ago. She and some of her team were standing ready to board this very big airplane. And they were in the first boarding group. And they were going to board right after those who were asking for early boarding. And so there were hundreds of people lined up. It was a very large aircraft. And there was a woman standing in line behind Esther, two or three people, who was under the influence of the discontent of her own life. <laughs> and she was sharing it with everyone within earshot, and because of the volume, that included almost everyone in the gate area. <laughs> and she was saying, look at them, why are they boarding early? Why are they boarding early? I don't see a wheelchair, I don't see a crutch, I don't see a cane, I don't even see a limp. Why are they boarding early? I'm 75 years old, she said. I'm not boarding early, why are they boarding early? And no one is talking back to her. If there was anyone with her, they weren't owning up to it. <laughs> and Esther, who's usually cordial and willing to talk with anyone, was thinking, I'm not with her, I'm not with her, I'm not with her. Everyone was sort of feeling that way. And so this went on for a long time. It was a long, long pre-boarding time. And it was making this woman so unhappy. And then, as Esther's walking down the jetway to the plane, she could still hear that woman complaining behind her, talking to whoever. And then when she got on the aircraft, they were settling in. It was a big cabin about 40 minutes before takeoff. And she told every flight attendant who came near her how unjust she thought that was. And Esther's been listening to us for a long while. Some of you have, too. But it was the first time that Esther really had a visual awareness of what we mean when we say, when you are spewing your discontent, what you want can't come back. When you are unhappy, happiness can't come to you. You're blocking it. If you feel disadvantaged, then good breaks can't come to you. You're blocking them. If you feel 
unappreciated, then appreciation, even from those who appreciate you, can't come to you because you're blocking it. You're offering a vibrational interference that doesn't just stop vibrations which you might feel are thoughts. It stops everything that you want when you are a vibrational match so much to what you don't want. So Esther has this image in her mind of this woman just blowing like a hurricane, her unhappiness about the way she was being treated in this moment. And Esther's pretty sure that she does that a lot, about a lot of moments. And Esther was thinking, no one can get through that. It was so vivid. And then Esther thought, I've had all of those thoughts myself. I'm just not as honest as she is. I just haven't spoken them out loud. But it doesn't matter if you're saying them out loud or not. You can be polite and be smart enough to keep your mouth shut. But if you feel disadvantaged, advantages can't come to you. If you feel like you don't have enough of something, it can't come because your continual awareness of what you don't want causes you to spew a vibration that does not let in or at least interferes with what you're asking for. So it's so interesting because you've taken step one. Life has caused you to sort and sift and know what you don't want so you know what you do want. So you're asking, you're calling it to you. This woman was calling. She was calling to her fairness. She was calling love. She was calling see me and know me and understand me and like me. She was calling all of that to her. She was just spewing something so opposite to everything that she was calling to her that none of it could get through. And it was the best picture Esther's ever seen of knowing someone desperately wanted something that they were keeping away. Esther will never forget that woman because that woman was a very clear picture of what Everybody that she knows on the planet, including herself, is doing on one subject or another all the time. Wanting something that you're blocking with your awareness of what is. The injustice of that moment in time was almost too much for that woman to take. She just could not stand that she had paid all that money for that first class ticket. And she was standing there in a line a long time. Boarding was really late in coming. And when it came, it was longer still. So she'd probably been standing in that line the better part of an hour. You know what that's like. How long have you been sitting here today? <laughs> and not getting what she wanted. Esther knows that she wanted something and was blocking it at the same time. So that's our primary intent as we play together today, to help you to be more aware of what your point of attraction is and to show you some things that will help you to, in this moment in time, have a vibration going on because you've practiced it that is letting in what you want in this moment and in this moment and in this moment and in this moment. Because life isn't about planning a trip and finally getting to go on it. So you've been in the planning of it for months and finally you get to go. Life is now, 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 now. And your feeling response to life is now, 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 now. And so the segment of now you want the segment of now to be one where you are open and allowing the things that you've been asking for because the universe is yielding to you all day, every day, in every moment, things that you're asking for. Wouldn't it be nice to be in a moment in time when you're letting it in and then in the next where you're letting it in and the next where you're letting it in? So it's just a stream of things that you care about coming into your awareness. That's the way you intended to live this life experience. So whatever you're getting, you're attracting it. And the thing that is so hard for humans to take is that they're attracting what they don't want and getting what they don't want and then responding to what they don't want. So attracting what they don't want and then getting what they don't want and then responding to what they don't want and then attracting what they don't want and then responding to what they don't want. In other words, it's this cycle of such awareness of what is in this moment that it's hard sometimes to get out ahead of it. But when you know how to do it, it gets easier and easier and easier and easier and easier. We want you to know that you are source energy beings, extensions of source energy, but source energy beings yourself. You are source energy. And you've come with power.
powerful intention to sift through life and to let it produce within you ideas of improvement and more. And when that happens, even if you're in a bad mood, you emanate a request that your inner being hears and responds to. So there's a very important thing that we want you to understand right here and now. And we're gonna talk about it until we can feel you clicking in and getting it, because this is key to everything deliberate that you will do for the rest of your life experience. The law of attraction is responding to you. We just want you to understand who you are, what we mean when we say you. And what we mean when we say you is not just this magnificent body that you have claimed as you're sitting here in this room. It's the you that you were before you came into this body that still exists as non-physical energy. So there's this inner being you and there's this physical you and both yous have powerful points of attraction. The law of attraction is responding to both aspects of you. So when physical you squirms and writhes and has a bad moment and asks for an improvement, non-physical you becomes the improvement and the law of attraction begins responding to that improvement. When you ask, it is given. Someone should write a book. <laughs> when you ask, it is given. It's given, it's given, and it's received by that non-physical part of you. The question is, are you in sync with the non-physical part of you? And the answer is, sometimes, but not usually. Could be a lot more. Are you in sync with your inner being? How would I know if I am? I feel great. I feel eager. I feel love. I feel sure. I feel well-being, I feel clarity, I feel eagerness. But if I'm not in sync while I'm in my human form, then I feel irritation, I feel some distress, I feel annoyance, I feel blame or guilt or fear or hatred or something like that. So you have two points of attraction potentially. We're wanting you to make it into one. We're wanting you to move yourself deliberately into vibrational sync or alignment or allowing with your inner being so that you can experience the benefit of that point of attraction. And we want so much for you to understand that one who's connected to this energy, to the momentum of this energy, your inner being has offered no resistance that could be acknowledged by you for as long as you've been in this physical body. That's a huge amount of momentum, of gathering of cooperative components on your behalf. And it takes so little cooperation of you in your physical form to merge with that and then be in that powerful place of attraction. Oh, the awesome power of non-resistant thought, that's what we're talking about. That's where your inner being is all the time. But when your inner being is standing in that awesome place of non-resistant thought and calling to you because you said you wanted it, all those things that you're asking for and you're standing in discord with that, it makes you scream to the boundaries of the universe. Not fair, unjust, why is that happening to me? Why am I not getting what I've been asking for? Because you keep doing that. Because you keep noticing what is already manifested instead of feeling the vibration of what's underway. Instead of knowing what your inner being knows about what you've asked for, you're taking score of the manifestation. So what we're talking about here is we want you to get out ahead of that, get out ahead of that by letting yourself feel the way your inner being feels about where you stand in relationship to that. We would like so much if you could get a sense in your mind of the coming together of the things that matter to you. And you would feel an appreciation and a certainness and a sureness and a I'm being seen and I am loved and I'm being tended to and all is well. Because if you can accomplish those feelings, then you join vibration with your inner being and you get to experience the moment by moment conscious aware unfolding of these vibrations turning to thoughts and ideas and these thoughts and ideas turning to actions and impulses and these actions and impulses turning to the manifestation of each and everything that you've asked for there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have 